What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Sudi. If you guys are new here and today's video, we will be doing this little super cute leopard print makeup tutorial and it's a very easy tutorial you guys. I'm pretty sure you have all this at home with what I did my makeup. If you are really into makeup, all you need is a palette, some eyeliner, some bomb ass lashes and call it a day. So we're gonna just jump into this video. Starting off with my Beauty Creations palette. This palette is called Cali Chick. And I am gonna go straight in with the color Laguna. I'm gonna be using my Morphe brush and this is in JH39. All I'm doing is emphasizing my crease, you guys, with that beautiful Laguna color. Um, I'm gonna go in with JH33 right now. There you go. All I'm gonna do is blend. I'm gonna blend that Laguna color upwards to my transition. So check it out, you guys, since it is a Halloween, um, makeup tutorial you don't really have to focus on being perfect i do want to mention that before i started with my eyeshadow my eyelid was already prepped i'm gonna link down below my makeup tutorial if you guys are interested in checking that out now i'm gonna go in with a black eyeshadow the eyeshadow i'm using it's called Tempris, and it is from the jacqueline hill the volume 2 palette i'm gonna focus that black on the outer corner of my eye you guys, it is very dangerous when you are playing with black eyeshadow and your makeup is already done. So all I'm going to do is grab a clean beauty blender. My beauty blender is damped. I feel like it works perfect and it holds the powder super nicely. So all I'm doing is protecting my eye makeup. So I am applying some translucent powder on the area. So whatever falls out of that black eyeshadow. All I'm gonna do is brush it out and it works like magic. That translucent powder is saving my life pretty much. Remember, whatever I do on one eye, all I'm gonna do is repeat the step on the next eye. Here I'm going in with JH37 and this is just a clean brush. All I'm gonna be doing is blending those colors together, the black and the brown Laguna color. So all I'm going to be doing is blend, blend, blend. Remember you guys, blending is key. I know I said I don't have to be perfect, but it's very nice. Your eyeshadow lose mass when you have a really nice blended eye. Here I'm going in with that JH33 brush. Grabbing a little bit of that Laguna color just to blend the Temptress Black that I put on my eyes. As you guys can see, I'm putting it in between the brown and the black just for me to blend. Here I have a dry makeup cleaner that I did receive in my BoxyCharm box. It comes in pretty handy. So now I'm going to go in with tan lines, also with the Beauty Creations palette. I'm going to grab that beautiful gold color and I will be applying it in between the two blacks that I did in my inner corner and my outer corner and you guys are gonna see how beautiful that color pops now going in with temptress with all that blending it does go a little away so I want to add a little bit more pigment I'm done with eyeshadows I'm gonna go in with wet and wild mega liner I am gonna create a really easy um, wing liner I don't know how to explain it it's very hard for me to explain how I create my wing liner but here you guys can see I did start with a line going upwards and I'm gonna drag that line inwards and connect to the line I did in the beginning I don't know if I'm explaining myself but here you guys can see me doing it here I have the Fenty Beauty Metal Moon highlighter and I'm gonna apply a little bit of that highlighter underneath my eyebrow straight on my brow bone just to give some highlight on that area check that out and you guys, I did receive this on my BoxyCharm. Like how amazing is that? I'm going in with a black pencil liner. I just feel like this gives the eye a more dramatic look. I do apply it on the top and on the bottom of my waterline. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm fanning out my eyelash. This saves up my time. Going back in with Laguna, I'm gonna smoke out my under eye, you guys. I know I have said this, a couple times now but it does give a more dramatic look to apply eyeshadow on your under eye i'm gonna link my video down below if you guys want to see more details about how i 
use that eyeshadow underneath my eye here going in with JH43. I'm going to apply some of that temptress right close to my waterline. This big fluffy brush is the JH01 and I'm just cleaning out that translucent powder that was underneath my eye and I'm blending everything in together. I'm going to start bronzing my nose and I am using the Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer that I also received in my BoxyCharm box. I swear you guys, it's not that I want to be chit-chatting about BoxyCharm but I do receive pretty good products. So I'm going to go in with my R33 brush and all I did was contour. Now I'm going to um, blend everything in together with JH02 and I'm going to create my nose now. I'm grabbing um, a liquid liner, but this is a very thin, it's not the same liner I used for my liquid liner, like on my eyes. I am using like a thinner brush and I am creating like a little heart on the tip of my nose. Remember, we all have different features on our faces, like diferentes narices y todo ese rollo. So it all depends on what you want on your face. Remember, just play with it. I'm applying um, my liner, but I'm grabbing my mirror right underneath just for me to have different angles and I can have like everything on point. So here comes the fun part you guys. I do not have or I do not own a black liquid liner, a black lipstick. I need to go out and shop. But since I did it with whatever I had at home, why well, I used my liquid liner you guys, YOLO. Um, I'm gonna give you guys like Chola vibes, like 90s liner but I'm gonna fill in my lips with that liquid liner and I'm gonna create a black lipstick pretty much here's a little trick since I did apply liquid liner on my lips I'm going in with a brush and my black eyeshadow that I was using earlier just for my liquid my lips not to be um, shiny I'm matting up my lips with eyeshadow you can use your translucent powder on top of any liquid lipstick to mattify it. That's a little trip tip, you guys. Now I'm gonna contour my face because I do want it a little bit more bronzier. I am using my Hula bronzer to contour right above the Aesthetica that I was using earlier. Don't forget about your double chin, your papada, like it's a game changer, you guys. Now time to create those leopard print prints on my face, you guys. I'm going in with some setting spray. I'm grabbing this beautiful gold and it's also from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put that on my forehead or wherever I want to apply those leopard prints. And I'm gonna grab my liquid liner and I will be creating like two loops. Just have fun with it, you guys. This is the whole point about Halloween costumes, Halloween makeup, special effects, all that good stuff is coming to my channel. But the whole point of all this is to have fun with it. There's no such thing as being perfect when it comes to a costume. So here you guys are going to see how I create these leopard prints. And I do have it on fast forward because it is a lot of work. But it's easy. It's easy. If you are a beginner, don't give up. You can even practice on your hand and then put it on your face. But this is things I've been having at my house. And I am clipping my hair out of the way just to make it a little bit more easier for you guys to watch. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I'm gonna stop chit-chatting and let you guys watch. I'm gonna go in with Laguna. I'm also gonna be adding the brown, like right next to the gold. And that gold, to be specific, it is from the Volume 2, the Jekyll Hill palette. And it is called Talia, Talia. So I'm gonna be adding those two colors together and then I'm gonna go in with the liner on top. Remember, just have fun with it. Practice makes perfect. And nunca te subestimes, or I don't know how to say it. Just don't ever bring yourself down and be like, I can't do that. Yeah, you can. Trust me, girl, you got this. A little hair flip moment for sure.
you guys for this step the mirror was in front of my face i'm sorry but a girl's a little blind but i am creating a line i'm connecting my nose down to a little a little piquito que tengo on my lip so i'm just connecting both of them i'm also adding some little dots on my mouth to do like the little um leopard print effect pero de gato you know Here I'm applying a little bit of Laguna color and I do want my nose contour to be a little bit more extreme. So I'm adding a little bit of that on the side of my nose but connecting it to my eyebrows. I'm gonna be applying some of that liquid liner in the inner corner of my eye for a more dramatic cat eye. Check that out you guys, I did, I honestly feel like anything, any little detail changes the whole look, no joke. Here I did notice when I was like looking down modeling for you guys, a little gold speck on my eyelash. So all I am doing is grabbing my liquid liner and brushing that gold speck off. So what did you guys think about this video? Honestly, I am super excited. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give that thumbs up, share, comment. Let me know what you guys um, think about this makeup look. Also, don't forget to add me on Instagram. I will link it down below my username. I am always posting like on the daily basis and just 